Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew On Vegan, and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN and I follow the starch solution. On my channel, you're gonna find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes that are not only no oil, but gluten-free. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. I encourage you to check out the links in my description box. I have links to my favorite products, to my resources, I have an e-guide, I have a newsletter, and I run a Facebook group. So all those links will be in the description box below. So today is part two in my Thanksgiving series. Uh, I did part one, so if you haven't seen that, I will link that here or there. And um, that was I did my mashed potatoes and my gravy. And today I'm gonna to be doing my stuffing. And this recipe is super easy, just like my mashed potatoes and my gravy. So I hope you guys like it. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our bread toasted. The sad thing is, is that any of the prefab gluten-free stuffings have either eggs or milk or something in it. So I just make my own and it's super easy. So today I'm gonna to be using Little Northern Bakehouse Bread. This is the whole grain. They have several different flavors, but you can use whatever gluten-free bread you like. And P.S. this works with regular bread too. So whatever you wanna do. So I'm going to get these cubed up. So you're just going to make little cubes about this size. Now I've got my oven preheating at 425 and we're just going to put these in the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes till they get crispy and they're nice and toasted. So I'm going to probably do close to 4 cups. You just want to make sure they're in a single layer. Okay, I'm going to pop these in the oven for about 10 minutes. So while the bread is toasting, I'm going to add some celery and onions. I've got about a cup of each. And I'm not using any oil, so we're just going to use water to saute. So we're just gonna let the saute cook down, get soft, and we'll let these go for a few minutes. So these are cooking nicely, and they've been going for about three minutes. And this is optional, but I like to add some fresh herbs in here at this point, and I'm just gonna add some fresh thyme. Not a lot, just about a teaspoon or so. I think it just adds an extra layer of flavor. So we're just gonna let this go uh, probably about five more minutes. It's about as long as it takes for the bread to toast. So eight to 10 minutes, because I like them really soft. So we'll just let these keep cooking. I'm adding water as needed. Okay, so as you can see, the bread's nice and toasty. So we're gonna add that to the celery and to the onion. Heat is off. We get this mixed together. Now I'm gonna add some broth. I just made my broth with this not chicken bouillon cubes, really great. I mentioned it in my last video, so I'll leave a link to this. It really gives it a lot of flavor. I'm not even gonna add any other seasonings to this. Uh, I think the, the bouillon adds a ton of flavor. So I'm gonna add about a cup. I've got two cups here, but I'm gonna add about a cup and we'll get this stirred around. And then we'll get that all mixed in, get it absorbed into the bread so it gets all that flavor. And just keep stirring and stirring. You know, it'll keep absorbing. Because you don't want to be, you know, too mushy. All right, I think that's good enough. Then I'm going to put it into this baking dish because I like mine crispy on top. And I'm just going to bake it at 425 for about 20 minutes. So I'm going to pop this in the oven 20 minutes and then we'll give it a taste. Look how pretty. Yummy. Let's dig into this. All righty. Look at that. Mmm, so good. 
All right, going in. Mm, 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 mm. It's so good with the onions and the celery and that broth with that bouillon so good. Mmm. Crispy on the top, moist on the inside. It will go great with the gravy I made. If you've made it to this point in the video, please comment below with stuffing and that way I know you made it to the end with me. And I hope you enjoyed part two, so stay tuned for part three, which will be my green bean casserole. And that'll be coming out in a couple days. So make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when that pops up. And remember that all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the animals, and they're good for the planet, and what you put on your plate determines your fate. Until next time, thank you. Yeah, I don't like all this situation.